Airline passengers who've traveled through Denver may have noticed flying past the airport for up to 20 miles before making a U-turn to land. Seems like you're flying away from the airport forever before you turn around. Well, that's inefficiency. That costs carbon emissions, it costs fuel, it costs money, it costs time. Why the detour? It's because other aircraft are already lined up for a landing and an air traffic controller has to add your flight to that line by ordering a U-turn at just the right moment. But thanks to a new next-gen procedure, many flights into Denver can now make a precise U-turn miles closer to the runway. So with satellite navigation, they can fly very accurately. And because of that accuracy, that measure of conformance being so tight along the route they want to fly, we can give them that off-ramp off that uh, long leg I talked about, or we can give them that U-turn off that downwind leg towards the runway much sooner. As soon as your flight is established on a required navigation performance approach, a controller can tell the pilot to begin that U-turn. RNP, as it's called, requires that the aircraft's avionics can perform up to the required navigation standards, often using GPS. Once an aircraft is established on RNP, or EOR for short, the U-turn can begin. Established on EOR allows us to get into that conga line sooner. Uh, we're able to turn the aircraft around from that leg that is flying away from the airport and take an early off-ramp, if you will. Many people are used to having to really sweat getting to that connection in time, but with EOR, we get you on the ground much sooner, so the, the passenger saves time. 